Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The purchase and pricing email question line from you to me and my crew with your questions about this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we're discussing a 2010 model year launch from Giger LeCoult. Following up half a decade from the popular Master Compressor Chronograph, this is the Master Compressor Chronograph 2 in rose gold. 41.5 millimeters by 13.3 millimeters thick. The case was reprofiled along with the dial. New features were added and the popular original has been improved in every way. You can see that the lugs are more elegant, more sharply downturned and from lug to lug the watch measures 49.2 millimeters which is more compact than before. 21 millimeters is the spacing between the lugs and as you can see the strap is aggressively double stitched as it features double binding on its flank, bolstering in its center, a medium rectangular scale alligator leather in black, semi-gloss with a sheer sided edge showing the layers of construction. This is a brand new JLC factory strap, so you'll be the first to gouge it, and you will gouge it with this, a full rose gold deployant clasp. These days, JLC seems to be paring back pricing on watches by including pin buckles. There was a time when they made no compromise, and this was that time absolute security against dropping or removing at bedside. There's also a quick release system on the underside where you just pull the the trigger back and you actually release the strap and as a result any 21 millimeter size strap will work here. You don't need a proprietary strap as you do with quick releases found on IWC, Cartier and Hublot. Simply get the right size, pull the trigger back, release the strap. It's the same system from the master compressors of the mid 2000s. I should say the master compressor extremes which introduced this system. The case back is appealing. You have the Geosphere, which was the symbol of the 1958 International Geophysical Year that appeared on the Geophysic and, of course, the original Geophysic packaging. So this is a nod to that era, but today it represents the JLC Master 1000 Hours Control, a 1000 hour test of chronometry, resistances, winding efficiency, and power reserve, one of the few in-house tests that surpassed the COSC when this bowed back in 1992. The movement itself, protected down to 100 meters, is a JLC 750 series automatic twin mainspring barrels automatic winding 65 hour power reserve it features a vertical clutch and column wheel system and we shall open up that compressor crown and start it up the column wheel feel is very positive and as you can see with the vertical clutch there's no jump or stagger to the second sand when you start it and you can leave the chronograph running full time thanks to the vertical clutch coupling there is no additional wear and tear on the watch. Now you can see that another refinement of this chronograph is that it features semi-instantaneous jumping minutes so it's not a scrolling minute section. It's not a scrolling minutes device. It is a very quick jump right on the transition. We have applique indices as well as numerals. The numerals as well as the indices are modeled after the Polaris 68, so a little nod to JLC's history. The movement features both a quick set system and a hacking or stop second. So you have hacking seconds as well as a quick set date. It's free sprung and adjusted in five positions, so very precise and also very shock tolerant. Automatic winding with unidirectional action. It features ceramic rotor bearings, by the way, unidirectional more efficient than bidirectional. Ceramic rotor bearings ensuring greater efficiency still and ensuring that you will never have to replace the rotor bearing in the watch. The twin barrels give you the 65 hour power reserve, yes, but more importantly, even torque release from max wind to minimum wind, so there's not a huge fluctuation of amplitude through the wind of the watch, through the full life cycle from max wind to minimum. Now you'll appreciate the fact that the dial is detailed and nicely dished with a tachymeter outboard. It slopes down to the dial base. You have chronograph minutes, then you have a chronograph hour register, and then you have constant seconds down at six o'clock. Rose gold hands with a varnished white counterweighted lancet style seconds sand, you have the compressor crown system. So for the pushers, you have one quarter turn to lock them and one quarter turn to unlock them. This is a very friendly system for a sports watch because it's easy to manipulate the crowns or the, I should say the compressor crowns when your hands are wet, sweaty, or gloved. So one quarter turn and it's locked, one quarter turn and it's open. For the primary crown, white your tight and well, red gold you're dead. So white you're tight, it's color coded to let you know when it is shut. It is a sophisticated watch in every regard from its manufacture movement to its quick release lug system to its compact dimensions to its handsome tailored lines, the combination of satin finish as well as polish setting off the case, the bevels, the lug hoods and the bezel. There's a lot to love here and we'll throw the watch on my wrist one more time just to get a sense of how it wears. Comfortable, a modern full-size men's sports complication, not oversized at 41.5 
5, but an all-arounder that I can recommend for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, quite comfortable. This is a timepiece that has a lot to offer from one of the truly great brands in high horology. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Master Compressor Chronograph 2x9. As you can see, robustly loomed. It looks a lot like a Polaris after dark.